Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mermaid Radio. You are listening to this week's Universal Energy Reading using the 16 Kari and the Veve Prophecy Cards. I am Mami Olafunke. This reading is in effect from today, Monday, March 9th through Sunday, March 15th, 2020. Let's get started. Vumila in the Veve Prophecy Cards. This reading says the Earth Mother is looking to classify and organize the world so that uh, she can manipulate the events of this planet easily. Six Kari says that there is a lot going on that we can't see, that we're not being allowed to see, as Shu is throwing a veil. Ashe. The universal energy reading for the people this week sees six Kari on the mats and Olokun Ovumila in the Veve Prophecy Cards. This reading calls for seclusion. People are, are going to find a way to be alone. People are not going to be happily involving themselves in group activities unless it's for work or family. Other than that, people are finding themselves in seclusion. A, a lot of the quarantines that are going on are self-imposed. People who aren't even not feeling well are secluding themselves. So that is the energy of the world right now. Solita solitude and solitary confinement. Ashe. The universal energy reading for love this week sees eight Kari on the mats and Eshua Zaka in the Veve Prophecy Cards. Where you are involved in a relationship and you have plans, please follow through on them so that you can buy into the opportunity of your togetherness and it can grow and see, you know, a profit, see happiness, see growth and development together. Ashe. The universal energy reading for money this week sees seven Kari on the mats and Agbao Rune Obatala in the Veve Prophecy cards. <clears throat> money is fickle this week. There will be a lot of endings in the money cycles for, for quite a few people, especially those of us who do not keep our promises. We need to keep our promises and honor our contracts, and make sure that we follow through on what we say we can do. If we find ourselves in a predicament, we cannot keep up with our contract. Let people know. Do not surprise people at the end and say, whoops, I didn't do it. No, that's not going to work. Uh, let people know as you're working step by step so that you can stay in the money and people won't just cut you off and get somebody else. Money relationships can end easily where there is not too much gratitude. You have to be grateful. You have to be conscientious, honor your agreements, and don't argue with people. If you're wrong, say you're sorry. Say you'll try to fix it. Ashe. The universal energy reading for health and well-being this week, C6 Kauri on the mat. And Yemoja Akbao Ru in the Veve Prophecy cards. Here our health is fragile. This week, we need to communicate with our doctors, communicate. You know, if you're not feeling well, definitely go to the doctor. If you are feeling well, you know, take care and follow all the precautions of the hour with the virus on the loose uh, because our health is really fragile and we could easily find ourselves destitute. We can easily find ourselves like in a world of trouble with, you know, if we don't follow the rules of the time. So we want to try, if we have a habit of biting our fingers or touching our face and nose, uh, you know, putting our fingers in our mouths, we need to not do that at this time. Also, you know, the, uh, with health and well-being and the virus, uh, the corona situation, we have to, know, you know, listen to the news of the time, but not too much. You don't want to inundate yourself where you're scared to death. You can't move. You have to keep moving, keep living. A lot of people expect the virus to disappear with the hot weather. Let's see. Well,
Yeah, the, so it's saying definitely it's going to, uh, Eva, it's, definitely it's going to disappear with the hot weather. I don't know that it'll stay gone when the cold weather come, returns, but we can get a reprieve with the hot weather. But meantime, wash your hands. If you feel the need, wear your, wear your mask, especially in crowded situations. I know people need 12 feet between them to limit the spread of this situation, at least according to my readings. That's not official information. But I'd say, you know, 12 feet. If you, if you have to be closer than 12 feet to people, you need to be, be very careful. They're saying uh, that the disease is not killed by hand sanitizer. It's it's killed by hand sanitizer. It's rendered inert, but it doesn't it doesn't wash it off of your hands. So if you you need to clean your hands, you have to use soap and water, and actually uh, make it not able to stick to your hands, and then rinse them so that the germs will go down the drain. Uh, let's. Let's be very careful uh, with this situation. Ashe. The universal energy reading for spiritual development this week sees seven cowrie on the mat and Eshumaza in the Bevy Prophecy cards. And this is very worrisome. Uh, not very worrisome. This is a situation that says don't argue we can't argue in house with with our house members we cannot fail to keep our promises if we say we're going to be there we have to be there if we say we are going to drop you come and get you and take you somewhere we have to do it even if we don't want to or we just have to say no in the first place so that way people can make other arrangements it's also talking about people attacking one another this is not a year for spiritual warfare, and we need not fight in-house. We need not worry. If people are jealous of us, then they just have to be jealous. If we, are, if we find ourselves jealous of another, we just have to let it go, you know, because if we want something somebody else has, then we have to just find a way to work and get it, but not attack somebody or wish against somebody because... Especially as priests and priestesses, this thing can be very strong. Um, in my reading about the, the virus, it says that peace and love is what's going to uh, keep us alive. Peace and love between people, peace and love as, as intimate spiritual family for your neighbors, for your family, for your friends outside of the spiritual community. It's peace and love that's going to keep us alive. So we don't we don't need to attack each other. We don't need to wish each other harm. We have to really be patient, be kind, be loving, want for others what we want for ourselves so that we can, because this is one of those years what, what you want for other people will nine times out of ten be only for you. So you have to want for people to hit the number, to to um, get promoted on their job, to find peace with their children, to find peace with their spouses, because that's what we want. You know what I mean? That's what we want. So that's what we wish for others. And that will help us grow and develop. And even in this time of confusion, uh, we will we will know peace. Ashe. This has been Mami Olofunke's Universal Energy Reading. I thank you for joining me this week. I thank you. If you like this information and find it useful, please like, subscribe, add notifications to know when the next video is available. Have a great week, everyone. Odabo.